Justice done, the parents and sister of Ashling Murphy watch on as her boyfriend tries to put their pain into words. Ashley was a vibrant, intelligent and highly motivated young woman and she was the epitome of a perfect role model for every little girl to look up to and strive to be. She was not only an integral part of our family, but she was also a huge shining light in our community, a community in which year in, year out, she gave back to as best she could. 23-year-old Ashling Murphy was a primary school teacher and a talented traditional musician. She was murdered while jogging along the Grand Canal in Tullamore, County Offaly, in January last year, stabbed 11 times in the neck. Today, 33-year-old Josef Pushka was found guilty of murder after 13 days of evidence and more than 60 witnesses. His story of another unidentified man attacking both him and Ashling before escaping, not believed by the jury. The judicial process cannot bring our darling Ashling back, nor can it heal our words, our wounds. But we are relieved that this verdict delivers justice. It is simply imperative that this vicious monster can never harm another woman again. After Ashling's murder, the phrase and hashtag she was just going for a run entered the national lexicon in an echo of the Sarah Everard murder in the UK less than a year earlier. It forced a nationwide reckoning on the issue of femicide as thousands attended protests and vigils, a nation united in revulsion. Josef Pushka will now receive a mandatory life sentence for murder when sentencing takes place here at the end of next week. Referring to the accused today, the judge told the jury, we've got evil in this room. There's no doubt about that. That evil is behind bars. Ashling Murphy's family have some solace at last. Stephen Murphy, Sky News, Dublin.